Hey everybody, this is Ditto from Reef to Reef. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect your Kessel H80 or pretty much any Kessel light that has a 0 through 110 volt input connection to your GHL controller. So let's first start. Here is my Kessel H80 light that I'm going to be using for my frag tank. You're going to notice in the upper right hand corner, there is an input which allows this to be controlled by a 0 through 10 volt uh, port which in turn can be connected to the GHL. To do this, I first needed to get a cable. And what I did was I ordered a Kessel Type 1 control to cable. As you can see, it's got a mini 3.5 jack and it also has kind of a RJ45 connection, which I'm not gonna be able to use to connect to the GHL device. To do this type of connection, I'm going to need a breakout box from GHL and right here is an S port L port breakout box and what the breakout port box does is it allows you to connect these two ports to the back of the GHL controllers uh, 1 through 10 volt ports yellow ports on the back of the unit and then control the device via the 1 through 10 volt port so what's going to happen is, is that I'm going to open up the cable I'm going to cut off the end I'm going to connect it to the breakout box and then I am going to show you guys how it looks all hooked up. Okay I now have the wire hooked up, the Kessel wire hooked up to the GHL breakout box and what you're seeing is how I actually when you cut the cable there are four wires a black wire, a white green wire, and a red wire. The black and red wire are the positive sides of the Kessel control. One of them is going to control the intensity of the light while the other is going to control the color of the light while the white and the green wire are ground. So what you're seeing is the actual way that I have them put in. So the black wire went to two, the green and the white wires went to three, and over here, this one, the red wire went to five. So that's pretty much how it is uh, connected now to the breakout box. On the other side of the cable, you're going to notice that you still have the mini jack right here. So here's the mini jack. And that mini jack, when I get done, is going to plug into the input side of the Kessel light. Right now, you're gonna notice my Kessel light is powered up. I have full control with the knobs. So as you can see, this is me actually controlling it. The breakout box then gets plugged into the back of the GHL controller in one of the L ports. As you're going to see here, is mine is gonna be going into the L2 or the L3, L4 port. So once it's been connected to the back of the GHL controller, you are going to be sending one through 10 volt signals to this breakout box, which in turn is gonna be sent through the mini jack, which in turn is going to power the light. And I'm going to show that. I've already base config the GHL and we're actually gonna be going in through it through the GHL Connect app in a few moments. But as you can see, once I plug in the input light, input, you're gonna notice you no longer have control. This means now that the light itself is gonna be controlled and it's still powered up as you can see. I'm gonna unplug it. And if you want me to, I can actually go do like this and have it off. And when I plug it in, it's gonna turn on. That it's now being controlled by the GHL ProFlex controller. So let's go into now into the GHL Connect app and I'm gonna show you how I configured the one through 10 volt ports and the illumination channels to control the Kessel light. With the Kessel light now connected to my Profilux controller, let's see how I programmed it. On your Android or Apple device, find the GHL Connect icon and open up the application. With the GHL Connect application open, you'll be presented with the devices configured for GHL Connect. Choose your Profilux controller. Once your controller displays its dashboard, in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, click on the hamburger icon and choose the 1 through 10 volt interfaces. 
within the 1 through 10 volt interfaces is where we need to set the max and min voltage for the Kessel light along with assigning illumination channels we want to control the Kessel light with. Remember the Kessel light uses two 10 volt signals, one for the brightness and the other for the color of the light. Since I have my light plugged into my L3, L4 port, choosing first the 1 through 10 volt 3 interface. You will see I set the function to illumination and the functional parameters to 3. I also adjusted the min max voltage on the light to be 0 and 8.5 volts max. In testing, I learned that interface 3 is used for the overall brightness of the light. Clicking back and choosing the 1 through 10 volt interface 4, you will see my settings for the color control of the Kessel light. You will see the function is also set to illumination and the functional parameter is set to 4. The overall output signal of the light is set from 0 minimum and 10 volts max. Now that I've shown you where you would set the 1 through 10 volt signals to control your Kessel light, let's see how I would program the light. Click the back key and choose the hamburger icon in the upper left hand corner and choose illumination. A new set of menu options will open. Let's choose illumination channels. We need to first set the overall color of the light, which in my configuration is illumination channel 4. Upon clicking channel 4, you will see I set the start and stop time from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. This means when the light is on, it will have the same color Increasing the brightness adjusts the light from a blue to a white light. You will also need to make sure on this channel the dimmable option is enabled. I chose a description for this channel as Kessel Color and I set the color to blue. Clicking on the chart in the upper right hand corner will allow you to see the color and how you can see it will remain at 10% anytime it is used or in my configuration a blue. Now. Let's see how I'd set up the overall brightness of the Kessel light. Click on illumination channel 3. Here you will see I set four set points. My Kessel lights will begin to turn on at 6 a.m. and ramp up to 100% at 7 a.m. and will remain at 100% till 5 p.m. where they will ramp down to 0% at 6 p.m. or off. I also set the illumination channel to dimmable. I also wanted the overall brightness channel to be impacted by clouds, so I enabled that option. And I also enabled seasonal lighting. This option allows the light intensity and duration to be impacted by the seasons. Therefore, shorter durations and lower intensity in the winter, and an increased duration and brightness in the summer. I labeled the channel Kessel Bright, so I would not forget what the purpose of the illumination channel was, and I set the color to a white slash blue. Clicking on the chart, you can see the ramp up, ramp down period of the light. And that's it. We have successfully installed a breakout box on our Profilux controller and configured a Kessel 1 through 10 volt controlled light to the Profilux controller. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Or as always, you can find me on Reef to Reef. This is Ditto, signing off.